Hi my loves, welcome back. How are you doing? My name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel and for today I'm going to do a second pass at my wish list. So basically I'm revising my wish list for 2020. If you guys know me, you know that my priority always has been handbags. I just prefer putting my money in the handbags instead of everything else. You probably also know that I'm pretty nuts with costume jewelry and I'm wearing a ton of them today and I love them. This beautiful necklace. I'm so glad I got it. Everything will be linked down below by the way. Everything that I wear, everything that's on my face is always linked down below. So without particular orders for these handbags because let's be real, whenever you just you know, bump into a nice essay or a nice experience or if you're traveling, you happen to walk into a store that has whatever you want, then you just grab it. So that's how I kind of roll. So I don't want to say I'm going to get this bag first or that bag second. I'm just going to roll with it. The first I'm going to mention is the Lady Dior. I know I've talked about it so many times. I'm going to stop talking about it or at least <laughs> I'm not going to discuss it as in much detail. Again, I don't know the size color yet, but I feel like I'm going to lean towards the mini gray pearlescent. So that's probably the one that I'm going to end up getting. Second bag that I wrote down, again from the fashion house of Christian Dior, is the 30 Montaigne, 30 Montaigne. And again, I don't know which option for sure I'm going to be getting. I like two options from that particular style. So I like it in just plain black leather with gold hardware. Most likely I'll go with the smooth calfskin just because I really like the look of it. I also really like the oblique canvas with gold hardware. Probably in the blue color. I know that the black one is out as well. I have never seen it in person. I don't know if I'll fall in love with it. I just know that these two bags, whether leather or canvas, they're very similar in pricing. Moving on to Chanel, I have three bags that I would really love to concentrate for 2020. Trendy CC being the first one. I love the top handle. I love the shoulder crossbody option. I just love the clean lines of it, but some may argue that the accordion style doesn't look very clean to them, especially if it's stuffed. Again, it just depends on if I get to see one, whether I vibe with the item, whether I'm liking the leather of that particular season, or even if I like the shade of black that they have that season. So we shall see. It's a maybe, but it's very high on my list because I really love the aesthetics of it. Also from Chanel, I would love, love, love to get my very first classic flap from the retail store. So I do have the jumbo size, but it is pre-loved. So I would love to get my first one from the retail store. And ideally I would get it in a very pretty color. So I'm thinking a really nice gray caviar. I bought my 19, I bought my Gabrielle. So I kind of just put the classic flap in the back burner for a long time, but I feel like the small size is just the perfect size. Uh, I would love to have it in a gray, beautiful gray caviar. That's all I'm saying. Also from Chanel, I would love to get a backpack. Particularly, I like the Urban Spirit style just because I feel like the Urban Spirit is probably one of the most practical style that I've seen Chanel make because even though it does have a drawstring, you don't really need the drawstring to close your bag, which I prefer. I don't want to play with the drawstring constantly to open and close it. All the other ones that they have, like the... Uh, what's the style business affinity and then they had a seasonal style very recently those ones you really have to cinch it in to close the bag and i don't really want that i feel like it's just an extra step to close the bag or to open the bag which i want to avoid my next bag is the birkin from hermes yes very expensive i don't know for sure if i'll be able to get it in 2020 um if i can get it next year or even in the next few years that's completely fine but i just want to put it on this list because it is a goal that i want to achieve eventually i would love to get it in the size 25 probably togo leather i love the slouchy look of the Birkin with Togo leather. I know it comes in different other leathers as well, but just from my observation, from looking at everyone's collection, I just like it in the Togo 25. Ideally, a neutral black or a beautiful gray would be great, but I also really like it in Hose Boop, so a very vibrant, nice fuchsia color. It cannot be too light pink and it cannot be too red-ish. I just want it in the perfect kind of middle. Um, I know they also had it in this beautiful magnolia color, which is very similar to Hose Boop, but I really like the shade of the Hose Boop 
a lot more than the Magnolia, if that makes any sense. And with this kind of price range, you gotta get exactly what you want. So hopefully, I don't know, one day I will be able to get my Birkin 25 and I'm sure from then on it will be a very slippery slope. Honestly, for bags, that's it. It's not a very long list. I think this is a very long list already because it's a lot of money and um, I don't know. I just don't want to make it too too long. I wanted to make it at least kind of realistic and kind of uh, you know something that I can really shoot for this year and like I said if I cannot achieve all of these it's fine. We can always work on them the next years as well. But aside from these main ones, so these main bags that I just discussed, I also wanted to mention the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire. Here's what I think about this bag. I don't love it, love it, but I think it's so cool. And I, the more I see it, the more I just feel like I should own it. I, I just feel like there's this side of me who wants something very casual, who wants something that I can throw around. And yes, I used to have the Palm Springs, which is my go-to for throwing around um, but at the moment I don't have any canvas LV bags that I can kind of do that with. I do have my twice but that's leather. I still like monogram a lot. Hopefully I can get a piece that's made in France or made in Europe at the very least just because I prefer it that way. So yes I'm adding this very popular very hyped up bag in my wish list. Um, I originally said that I probably won't get it but I want to get it now. I, I just I just want to get it. By the way, if you guys don't already know, I made a whole series for each of these brands. So Chanel, Dior, Hermes, uh, Louis Vuitton. I made a video of each brand of things that I'm, you know, contemplating or just thinking about or just loving in general. So if you haven't checked out the the, the playlist already, I'm going to link it up here. But uh, from all these items that I've discussed in my whole series, I want to concentrate on these following accessories. So from the House of Chanel, I would love to just get my first pair of Chanel slides. I just feel like the CC logo or even the Chanel logo just looks amazing and I love wearing slides. Hopefully I can find a pair that's super comfortable. Again, not a very high priority. It's just something that I would love to own. My second accessory is from the Fashion House of Dior. I would love to add that Dior Quake belt. I just find that as a logo belt and one that is pretty signature and pretty statement. It's still very very classic looking. It looks like it's something that you will be able to wear for years on end without looking too out of place and you can still match with other brands without looking too off because you know how sometimes when you match different brands especially if it's very local heavy it doesn't quite look cohesive together but I feel like with the Dior Quake belt it doesn't necessarily scream Dior in my opinion. Finally from the house of Hermes I would really love to get my first leather bracelet. I really like the Kelly Double Tour or the Rival Double Tour but I also really like their new CDC which is the Collier de Chien in the 24 millimeter width. Um, I just really like the look of it. I just I feel like it's if anything if I'm gonna add a very edgy bracelet that's the one I'm gonna go for so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one this year I'll work towards that hopefully I'll be able to try it in person because with these things you really have to try it in person to know for sure if they suit you I just like the edgy look of it but it's a little thinner than their regular CDC so we shall see I think that pretty much <laughs> completes my wish list for this year I think it's a pretty long list to be honest but even if I can just get one bag from Dior and one bag from Chanel, I would be happy for the rest of the year to be very honest. Uh, you know, these wishlists, they always evolve and we can always work on them for a lifelong journey. Also, if you have not checked out my series, please go ahead and check it out. Uh, I will also link it down below. And then I guess I have nothing else to say besides Thank you so much for watching and if you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. I hope that you consider subscribing, liking, and commenting down below and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye guys!